Keith, welcome to The Amazing Perspective. You're the very first guy for the show. You know that, right? So you're setting the tone. <laughs> well, we're in the right place for it, I guess. <laughs> At the moment, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the token guy in here as well. So You are. I'm, I'm enjoying that. I've always been big into following your passions. And when you discover what you love and you work at it, I, you thrive at it. My name's Keith Friedlander, founder of Virtue Economy. I would say it began with years of education. I was a math tutor uh, straight out of high school. I just loved helping make other people better. That then transcended onto the sporting field um, through leadership and then coaching. I just have a knack for wanting people to be better. Wanting my, and that starts with me, making myself better. Um, and so the intersection of sports and education and helping others uh, was always, I was always meddling you know, somewhere in between there. And then when I started, stumbled into social entrepreneurship, which I guess is what I was always born to do. Uh, that, that was the, the first time that I realized that I could finally mesh those passions together. There was this moment where I sort of realized how these nonprofits, these organizations who have committed their lives and the people within have committed their lives to change in the world we're just so often constrained from doing so. And we just realized that there's, there's something flawed about this. You know, having come from a for-profit background and worked in business, to then see the way that these organizations were set up and treated with such double standards, two totally different rule books. And it just seemed wrong. There's an opportunity to disrupt and change the most important industry in the whole world. Let's focus on that. Make that as good as it can be. And so Virtue Economy was born. I realized when I immersed myself in this world and I was speaking to the founders and speaking to these nonprofits, I realized, hum I, I got totally humbled and I realized how ignorant I was, thinking I was, I was understood that world. Because when I actually began discovering, there is the most enormous separation in gender equality in 2017. There, it, the women have to fight daily. They walk into a room and they start at minus four. This is not a fight that should be fought just by women alone. It is so important that men join the cause. We realized that we needed to, to help the, these organizations in ways that they often couldn't help themselves. It's incredibly important to surround yourself with the right people. Um, that, that's, that's huge for any enterprise, for any nonprofit, for anything. Make sure you've got the right talent of people. What we are do, doing at the moment is building a hand-picked, curated uh, hive. We call them a beehive, uh, a hive of talent. We are attracting all these amazing people in a range of disciplines that get the model, love the model, and want to use their skills and their prowess for good and get paid to do it. Everyone in here, the common thread is that we all try to do good. And I meet people like this and build community around this. And that is just makes that decision incredibly rewarding. I've, I've always been a big proponent of you are what you focus on. So you focus on the positives that are around you. And that has so much potential for you to develop. But what that does for those around you, it magnetizes them to, towards you, but then also lifts them up. And so as far as amazing perspectives go, it's all, it is all about how you see the world and how you choose to react to it. I, I believe in the infinite potential of infinite human potential. I think that that's, that's a key differentiator is that you, you hear stories, you, you tell stories firsthand of people who have come from nothing, who or come from everything, but manage to channel that into something bigger. And, and as a result, can amplify that through and affect a lot more people through it, you know? So human potential, I believe everything's possible there. <laughs>